Lucy does not do mornings. I'm not Carissa. I just wonder how long she's gonna stay like this. Nope, nope, other way. Let me out! Come on. What'd you do? Hello. Hi. Oh my heart. We're just trying to straighten that up. Every morning at 4 a.m. this doesn't get better. Good morning, everyone. This is the first morning in, I don't even know how long I've been doing this, a couple weeks that uh, there's been no babies. So yeah, mamas are just chilling. We may have hit the reprieve. There was a few that still look pretty close. So likely today or tomorrow, we'll see a few more lambs. How many lambs did we have yesterday? Lucy does not do mornings. We look for beds all day, don't we? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And she had a stillborn. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Only fifteen lambs yesterday, which felt like not a lot. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of dwindling down here. Uh, what I did forget yesterday, yesterday I was having a rough day. I think yesterday and the day before I was having some YouTube issues and uh, I really let this YouTube thing get me down sometimes, especially when I'm really tired from lambing. And I completely, well, it's not that I forgot because I never really knew. I knew Belinda's birthday was in September, but I didn't know it was yesterday. This is gonna be a really amazing year for her. So I'm hoping to go visit Belinda for her birthday and bring her a coffee and a treat maybe. So I need something for her 35th birthday. She's a little younger and wiser than me. Wishing her a very happy birthday yesterday. I love my little black babies. They're so cute. I'm not Carissa. Other way, other way, other way, other way. That's it. Follow. Follow, Mom. Yay! Follow. Come on, Marge. A second. Turn around. That's it. All right. Hate to break up the party. You get to blow this joint. Well, follow mom. Follow mom. I might carry you. Good girl. Good girl. See? Where you go? There you go. Close my gate. I just wonder how long she's gonna stay like this. Is she asleep? Huh? No, I think she just does it for effect.
She does know how to play dead. Come here, Goose. Uh, Jimmy, you a pussy? You a pussy? Uh, Let me out! Come on, you went out? Uh, So I thought I would give you an update to how many ewes have lambed and how many lambs we have so far. Now I count both the anything that didn't make it and all the things that are still running around. So far, uh, 73 ewes have lambed out of 93, so there's about 20 left. I, th I still think a few of them are not going to lamb, uh, just by uh, ob observing their udders and stuff. They just don't look like there's anything there. But they may surprise us and they may come se second cycle. We have recorded 159 lambs. So 159 out of uh, 73 ewes is sitting in that 2.18 lambs per ewe. About a quarter of the group were, were first time mums, ewe lambs, uh, which typically can have one, maybe two lambs is what I see. Um, now we saw some triplets out of a few of them, but so small. I have uh, tagged a bunch from yesterday. I'm gonna leave them in one more day because we have a lot of room. I've let all the other ones out and they're running around. They're actually probably lazy and sleeping right now and then Chris is gonna feed her shortly. But we're looking pretty good. It's nice to see the light at the end of the tunnel just because if it wasn't for this rain, I would be also needed in the field. So I'm kind of thanking my lucky stars that, uh, that we got a little bit of rain, even though Mark doesn't want it, I know. <laughs> What are you saying? Is it time? Uh, yep. What'd you do? Are those yours? Guess we better move ya. I think I gotta build more pens. Yes, I do. Well, I moved these two. The twins with mommy. Where's the other one? Right there. And while I was at it, I put a glove to this lady and pulled out a fairly big what I thought was a single but she's marked for two I couldn't feel another one but she's kind of acting every once in a while she's acting like she's gonna have another one so I'm thinking about regloving and checking her for a second one sometimes they're just so low that I can't I can't get a hand on them You are done. You are an only child. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Hello. Hi, good mommy. You see where you gotta go? Right there. Oh, my heart. Listen, just because you're cute, just because you're cute, <laughs> you little stinker. Teach her how to drive.
morning guys, it is Sunday. I overdressed, it's really warm all of a sudden. I think we're in for another weather event today. No lambs this morning, which is odd. I mean, I'm not complaining. We don't even have many to tag today. We only had one, two, three lambs born yesterday. Quiet day, quiet day for a Saturday. I am looking at that one though. One that just laid down. Maybe they're gonna give me the whole weekend off, that would be sweet. Have a little lamb who has maybe a deformed leg show the people this one here is kind of knuckled it's not joint ill because there's no swelling it's not warm so we are gonna splint it just to see if we can straighten it so it can gain some muscle there it might have just been in mum kind of wrong we're gonna see I didn't notice it till today all right, so what I do to splint is I take, uh, these are off like the cricket or cry cut uh, rolls of stuff that you use for those machines. And a friend of mine does that kind of stuff and she saves these for me. So if you have artistic friends, creative friends that have those machines, ask for these rolls, they work really good. You can also use the rolls that come with the uh, vet wrap in there, which I do actually use. I wonder if the vet wrap one would work better. Oh, look at that. What I do here. Let's see. We're going to wrap first for some cushion. So it's not broken. It's just like bent, kind of. So it can walk, but it looks awkward. And it bothers me. So there's our bottom layer. Okay, and then I'll put these guys on just to splint. <laughs> You're fine. It's almost too big. That's nice kisses. What do we do about that? I feel like that's too big. Okay, what can we use that's a bit smaller? Hmm. Maybe I'll cut it. You're fine. Are you pooping? Yeah. That sounds like a poop. Yeah. Okay. to get that pretty tight so it splints. still walk that's nice so we will see if that will just straighten that just that joint up we're just trying to straighten that up so it's not as bow-legged okay will that work we're gonna see so it's always good to have a bit of a kit ready for any fractures or uh, knuckled over lambs uh, or something like this just some some uh, lambs that got maybe pinched at birth so I usually have some vet wrap and some of these splints, all different sizes. You can also use paint rollers. I've used those too. All right, little one, let's take you back. Yeah, you're going to be the star of the show. There you go. There you go. You made the uh, bottle areas bigger too. I think they love it. 
<laughs> Good morning. We uh, we had no lambs this morning. I don't think we had lambs this morning or yesterday morning. It might mean that we are in our reprieve, which just means we're in between two breeding cycles. Uh, so it might be quiet for. Uh, it might be quiet for another 10 to 14 days. I'm not quite clear. We'll see when the next flush comes. I have these two ewes that land on Saturday. I'd like to get them tagged and then they can go in the big pen with the rest of them. Chris is feeding and then we're gonna go across the road today because we have not weighed our market lambs since before, uh, well, basically since their weaning weights, which was before lambing here, so a couple weeks ago. So we're going to do that and Rebecca comes today to scan the next group that are due in December. That would be Cinnamon and Bella are part of that group. I'll talk a bit about that later on today. They've grown. Well, some of them. <laughs> All right. Okay, this will be their first uh, official weight on these market lambs that were born in June. Uh, there was a few, even when we weaned them, that were quite a bit heavier, and they were the breakout babies. We had about six ewes that went early, like uh, end of May, I believe. So they should weigh up pretty good. I think I had one at 108 pounds. So we'll see what he's doing this week, being a couple weeks later. So we have them all in the crowding tub here. I'm gonna actually climb right in with these guys the first time through. Chris will do this probably every week from here on out and they'll get better every time. But um, just because there's two of us, I might as well get in, make this job a bit uh, quicker. We'll be only really scanning the ones that are 105 pounds or over. They'll get diverted into this pen over here and uh, they'll be destined to get shipped to the sales barn either this week or next week. It just depends how many we have ready. They're already ready. So I open the door. Carissa thinks he's spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Did you scan? Yeah, we scanned. Where you go, buddy? Actually, out of all of them, he was the nicest. Okay, we only end up having eight lambs ready, and that's not enough to actually make a trip up to the sales barn. So what we're going to do? There's a there's quite a few at that 98 to 100 range. Uh, so I would I would guess they're going to be ready probably next week. So I think what we're going to do, Rebecca's coming this afternoon, so I'm going to probably have some open ewes that have been, that have been scanned twice and missed twice. Uh, and I'm also going to tomorrow, Chris and I are going to run through the, the ewes we weaned before this lambing group, uh, actually their moms, 
and I have notes already jot down. I have a list already made up because I went through their numbers before Lambing started hardcore and uh, kind of jotted down who uh, was just not productive anymore for whatever reason. So I think what we'll do is this week we'll ship ewes and next week we'll ship market lambs. It just makes a little more sense for a uh, number of animals on the trailer just to make the time and the effort worth, uh, worth the trip. One thing about monsoon season, Ontario version, Canada version of monsoon season, meaning we've had rain almost every night or every other day. Our cover crop is growing like crazy. Today was a busy one and we caused ourselves another couple hours of work in the morning because I have, I'm, I have a tired brain. Today Rebecca was here and she scanned my, she scanned my sheep that are due here in December. Um, so it was good and bad. No, it was very good and very bad. Not even, not even a little good and a little bad. Our mature ewes, uh, I think there were 78 of those. I'd have to double check that. They did really good. They were 88%, which for a July breed, very happy with that. My ewe lambs, which I knew going into this would be very questionable. I never breed September ewe lambs this early. Actually, I don't even usually keep September ewe lambs. I just kept them because I thought we were gonna be a bit sh shy of numbers this year. They were a complete fail and uh, they were 40% bred. If you go back to when we were breeding them, I hope I said this, but the ewe lambs, the only reason I put them through so early is I kind of wanted to make this next lambing group a little bit bigger. I knew that pen, I think there were 78 in that group. That's too, that, that's not enough to breed. Uh, for me, I like my groups to be around that 100 to 130 ewes lambing. So I figured even out of the, I can't remember how big that group was. I figured even if I had 30%, which I shouldn't do that, I manifest negativity right away, but even if I had 30% of those catch, I could put them in that group and I knew I'd be closer to that 100 if the mature ewes were okay. So that is ending, that is kind of what ended up happening. They were 40%, so I did better than, uh, than I kind of thought I would. The problem with doing this with uh, baby brain is uh, we ran the ewe, lamb, the ewe lambs through first. We threw everything in the middle alley, which you can still see it's stained nicely. Um, and then I was gonna put a gator crop. I was actually gonna put them in another pen and I forgot and then we let the ewes, mature ewes out and then they combined with the ewe lambs. So tomorrow we have to move we have to separate the mature ewes and the ewe lambs, and then we also have to separate the open ewes and the bred ewes. So we have, we're gonna have to double handle every group twice. So we're moving, we're gonna move these pens like four times tomorrow. Everything's quiet, there's still no lambs. So I'm hoping uh, that'll be it for, for the evening and then hopefully there's not too many in the morning.